Hey guys, it's Ange here and I'm back for my six week pregnancy update. So this week the baby has transformed into a size of a little tiny blueberry and it's now developing its ears, nose and eyes, which I think is pretty cool. So last week I mentioned it in my video that I was actually going to be seeing my doctor this week and we were going to be discussing where I was going to give birth and all those sort of things. Now. I actually did go to my doctors, but we were unfortunately able to talk about these things because she actually admitted me straight to hospital because I was having some really sharp pains on my right side in a specific area. Now, she admitted me to hospital on the spot because she was actually concerned that the baby had implanted in my fallopian tube and not in my uterus, which would have made this pregnancy a topic. Now, once I was at the hospital, the staff there were amazing and they were super fast at getting my blood work taken getting a urine sample and sending me off for an emergency ultrasound where they could determine whether or not this pregnancy was a topic or not. So once I was in the ultrasound room, the technician there was lovely and he was able to determine that the baby had in fact implanted in my uterus and not my fallopian tube, which was the most successful news that we had that day. Now, while he was there, he was also able to show us the little baby, who, which was about two centimeters big, and the baby also had a flickering heartbeat of 108 beats per minute, which was just, it was just amazing to see. Now, while they were in there and things like that, they were able to determine why I was having so much pain on that right side. Um, it was because on my right ovary, I actually had a cyst that burst, and so it's actually caused an infection within my body. So I'm now on antibiotics four times a day. And I'm also taking a probiotic for pregnancy and breastfeeding, which is just this one here that the um, hospital and pharmacist had recommended me to do. And I take that one two hours after I take my very last antibiotic for the day. Um, and I also am still on my prenatal vitamins, which is the Elevate with iodine in it, which I spoke about in my last video. So the other symptoms I've been experiencing this week, besides the little sharp pains in my belly, is that my nausea levels have just skyrocketed and I am just feeling sick non-stop all through the day. Um, when I can stomach things, I'm actually eating some dry crackers with just Vegemite and butter on it, or maybe some cheese, cream cheese. So this week with my weight, I haven't gained or lost any. I'm the same weight as I was last week. Um, but I have been so terrible this week with my eating and my walking. I haven't walked at all this week because of all the pain I've been in. On the way to hospital, me and my husband both agreed if this pregnancy was viable and we saw a little heartbeat beating away, we were going to go to the baby shop and purchase something. I was able to purchase the cot that I was talking to you guys in my previous video. So I will hold up a picture again for everybody else who hasn't seen it. So I did end up going with this cot here and I ordered the cot, the mattress, and I also ordered um, this drawer, set of drawers here, which is a three set chest of drawers, and it actually comes with a change table converter on top of the chest of drawers. So the room that we have for the baby is actually gonna be quite small, so we thought doing that would actually save a lot of space and would be quite useful. I think that might be all for this week. So I'll quickly show you my belly and I think that will be it. This is my six week pregnancy belly and I don't think it's actually changed too much. But yeah, okay, bye guys.